Alright, we're taking a look at some van modifications. I don't know if this is a modification as much as a tip or a technique. So, I've got a lazy animal. She hides underneath this big pile of blankets every morning, and I don't know what to do. Actually, I use the blankets, and I just throw them over there when I'm done with them, because it keeps them out of my way. But, what do I do? How do I fold, like, these uh, poncho liners uh, in a confined space, like this van, right? So, let's take a look at how easy it is to fold a poncho liner in a confined space. I haven't done this on video yet, so let's see how easy it is. So basically a poncho liner is a big rectangle, right? So I'm going to take that big rectangle and I'm just going to kind of spread it a little bit so that I know I'm holding the long side of the rectangle. And then, let's see if I can point a little bit further down. So I'm just kind of spreading it out. doesn't matter if you're inside of a tent or in a small room or like this in the van. Uh, now I'm going to, just anywhere along the long side, I'm going to throw it out there and I'm going to let it fall into thirds. Let's see if that showed up. Nope, didn't show up at all. So let's get my knee out of the way. See how it's in thirds right now on the floor here? Well, I gotta get this camera in a better spot. Alright, this might work better. See how it's in thirds like this? You take it and you just kind of flip it until it kind of spreads out. You don't need the edges, you just need the center part here. And then I kind of just fold it into thirds. So now it's basically thirds right here. Now I pick it up in that middle and I just let it fall. So I haven't used a lot of space or anything and now you can see it's already much smaller than it was a second ago and it's a kind of rectangle shape. So next I'm going to pull the edges up and figure out which side has the tag. It happens to be this side. And you don't have to be perfect with it. Just start rolling. And you see I'm not doing anything fancy here. I'm just kind of threw it into thirds picked it up so that it fold, you know, kind of fell into thirds, and then I start with the tag, and boom, that's about as tight as I get it, because it works to uh, kind of jam into my shelves over here, and stays out of the way. So we'll do that with the next one here. You grab one, just take a corner or an edge. I know I'm on the short edge here, so I'll take that corner again, go somewhere into the middle. I guess there's these little ties to indicate where the middle is. Once you got the middle of the long side, just kind of give it a flip, let it fall, and let it fold into thirds. All right, once you've got your middle section there, let it dangle or hang into thirds there. Throw that out. There's my tag. So I just sort of bring it up here and start rolling. I would roll the tag up first because then when you lay down and unroll this thing, the tag is out by your feet. And that's just an indicator so that you don't keep putting the stinky in by your face all the time. So uh, there you go, nice and compact. Now, of course, you could go a little bit more compact if you were packing this into a bag or something, but this is how I do it in the confined space of the van. Uh-oh, now she's offended. She lost all her blankets. She hates blankets. Then when I throw all my blankets on top of her, she claims them all, and then when you take them back, she doesn't like it. So got the whole blanket out, let it kind of fall into thirds, pick it up and let it hang. Oh, see this time the tag is on the other side. Flip it around, no big deal. It doesn't have to stay super nice. And then just roll it up. This time I'm using my leg as sort of a ramp there, but it's not necessary. And I'm left with three you know, fairly tight looking blankets compared to that big pile they were before. You might say, oh, that works great on poncho liners, but could that possibly work on a wool blanket? Yeah, it totally works on a wool blanket too. Again, just find whichever side's longer. Now it just smells like wool blanket in here. Give it that thing to get to the thirds. Bring it up and shake it. And again, if you're interested in making it real tidy, then grab your folded side and your edge. On the other side, you got your folded side and your edge. Kind of wiggle them so that they stay nice into thirds. There's a tag on wool blankets usually. I do the same thing. Roll the tag up. Always tag at your feet. Mainly just so you know which side is gross. So if you ever use them with your clothes on and stuff, you know, you get mud or 
gross stuff on your blanket, it's always on the other end from your face. I always roll it up first, so again, if I am laying down, I can just unroll it. My tag end is down there, and then, see I've got my kind of thirds wrapped here. You just grab both sides, give it one shake, and you're, you're good to go. So if I want to fold that back up again, and I'm sitting in my uh, camp chair in the van, so I'm not doing anything fancy here. Uh, I could do this inside of a tent, kneeling, uh, you know, in an RV or something, it would work. So again, this one is just a heavier blanket, so I'm just going to lay it out all the way. And roll it on up. And you end up basically with a roll all the time. So again, if you need to do something a little bit tighter as far as the roll, that's on you. But uh, there we got the blanket. So that's my mods on rolling up blankets in a confined space. And next mod, the dog is going to teach you how to lick your arms and your feet and your butt and your belly. So stay tuned for that. As always, thanks for watching.